Katie Swafford with the MD News Network. We're here in the Windy City of Chicago at the AMA, CMA, BMA International Conference on Physician Health 2010, talking to doctors about physician health and resiliency in the 21st century. Here's what they had to say. Well, I have I I have interests outside of work that that play a very important role in my life, and uh, one of my outside interests is music, and and uh, I do, I'm very involved in singing, and uh, I also have a family, and these are very important to me because if I couldn't carry on my outside interests and and have these balances to my work life, I think that I could easily burn out. So personally, I believe uh, time with family and friends is really important. I try to spend as much time with my son as I can. We have, uh, we have some pretty great adventures. We do some outdoor activities like uh, geocaching. So if people are interested in that, go to www.geocaching.com. And that's a, a free and open source uh, outdoor physical activity that's great for families. Um, and then I'm from a place called Newfoundland in Canada. We go there a lot um, to reconnect uh, with family, which is really important to me. And the last one is we're big adventurers, so my son actually picks where we go for our family holiday every year. And this year we spent about three weeks uh, backpacking around uh, Iceland, uh, which was a really powerful and very profound experience. So those are some of the things that I do. I, I enjoy working, I enjoy with my work, and I try to find time for uh, running, or I ha try to find time for uh, having lunch with time, sitting down, and, uh, and try to find time for enjoy with my husband and with, m with my family, going out, or um, going to a concert or something like that, to try to find time for, uh, when finishing my work, to read some uh, very interesting book with some music. Things very simple, but enjoy, but things very nice. So it, it really uh, entails, I think, uh, what we call a, a kind of in the health coaching area, and it really entails developing an action plan is what we call, and, and uh, knowing ahead of time, even before you get into stress, uh, ideally sort of preventing stress by having a plan for when times get really tough, how you will handle it. And, and different people need different things. It might be meditation, it might be artful expression, it might be time with family and friends, uh, it might be just planning some time away for people who never take vacations. Um, uh, social networking and social support, though, is extremely important for everybody, no matter how what other outlets they use for, for managing their stress. And so, again, prevention is the most important. If they find themselves that they're already in, in deep in stress, um, they might actually even need to kind of seek out sort of a, a counselor or coach just to help them develop that more proactively and in a more systematic way. And some people um, do it that way, just more with through a professional and others can just do some reading and do it on their own quietly but the important thing is to really give that the attention that it deserves that taking care of themselves their mental health and their physical health will only help them be more effective as doctors uh, greatly um, I I had a time in my career where I my career my life was not very balanced and as a result of that I actually got very physically ill and so going through that experience, I learned how important balance is in my life. And I changed my whole life after that and made sure that there was balance in my life. Right now, because of my illness, I, I, I couldn't carry on my life without balance. And it's a shame that I had to go through an illness to learn these things. And one of the reasons why I take care of doctors as I do is to try and teach them uh, that how to balance their lives before they have to go through an illness or a crisis. Well, we know from the literature and we know from just rolling up our sleeves and being busy in the trenches that um, career satisfaction is largely dictated by a sense of uh, personal balance, uh, sustainability, and most of all, um, I think an alignment between people's personal values and what they're actually able to achieve, uh, matching their, their personal values with their, with their workplace life. And that's, uh, that's, that can be a very complicated and challenging task and, and one that at its base level I encourage people to never do alone.
So it speaks to the importance of good mentorship, good uh, good collegiality, good friendships, um, but also speaks to the importance of leaders in the healthcare sector, because uh, without really incredibly good support from uh, leaders, most of us will struggle with that throughout our career. From research that we've done, two uh, large uh, national studies, and we're now expanding these, um, physicians who are happiest are the ones who report reasonable satisfaction with work-life issues, and physicians who report reasonable satisfaction with work-life issues tend to be the ones who like their work the best. We think that emotions are contagious and physicians who are engaged in work that they enjoy and are doing that work with people with whom they enjoy affiliating tend to come home in better moods and are then able to generate positive connections with loved ones and those prove to rejuvenate them. Then they go back to work the next day and do it again. Personal life is clearly important for career satisfaction and I think the younger physicians are, have a better handle on that now and many young physicians start off their careers uh, really planning ahead and saying for example well you know I want to have a family maybe it's a, a female physician she wants to have a family she wants to have time at home with her children and so she's already planning ahead what kind of a practice she might want to join that might be part-time that will allow her to be home when the children are young um, all of those uh, kinds of things are really Really important for her to say, wow, this I am satisfied with my job because my job allows me to do what I'm passionate about, which is take care of patients, uh, but also that I um, am able to be rejuvenated and uh, by spending time with my family and, and doing the things that are also really personally very important to me. So again, it, that's the definition of work-life balance. They were talking a lot about modeling here and trying to lead a healthy lifestyle as an example for your patients, and I think that's one real avenue that we have. Uh, as doctors to try to help people and try to show them that it, this is a struggle for everyone but it's a struggle worth committing yourself to and worth really uh, taking some steps to address so I try to look at it that way I think it's a, a lot easier to sell things to doctors when you feel like it might be helping someone your patient certainly I think it's immensely important and it's, it's different for each person, so you can't put a percentage and say, well, if you have 30% family time, 70% work, then you're going to be happy. It could be 10%, 90% for some people. Others need more. But it, it just has to feel right. Um, well, the fact that I've, I've gained you know, insight into my own imbalances and then tried to balance myself, I believe has probably helped my patients because... Uh, it's like a bit like the concept of, um, you know, if we were climbing Mount Everest and we need a couple of Sherpas to work with us, we'd prefer to have a Sherpa who's actually climbed the mountain than one that's sat at home and read the book. And so, you know, initially as physicians, we read the book at university, but when we've got to put it into action ourselves, then it becomes much more uh, of a challenge. And once we do that ourselves, when we look for our own uh, wellness, then we've, we come with some authority for our patients. Now that you've heard the conference attendees' opinions, we want to know what you think. Click on Share Your Perspective at mdnews.com.